Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is Wednesday. What is the date? I don't forget what today's actual date is. May 13th. <laughs> and I thought it'd be fun to start a new thing where I'm going to call it, uh, What You're Working On <laughs> Wednesdays. So today I'm going to talk about what what's we're working on. <laughs> so this is my project bag. Any guesses? It's a new start. You guys haven't seen this yet for me. Um, my last No Catch Your Name episode came out yesterday. And this wasn't on there. I started it last night while I was watching a documentary about Gary Marshall. <laughs> well, it wasn't a documentary. It was like a, a special. And um, anyways, can you guys guess what it is? It's not Christmassy. It's just in a Christmas bag. But I started it with birthday yarn that I got. It's actually yarn that Devin gifted me. Devin is my husband. If you haven't seen uh, videos before, you wouldn't know that. But let's see here. Where my hook go? It's in there somewhere. It's probably in the ball. Uh oh, I lost my hook. Oh, I found it. Okay. Okay. I'm using my frog hook. <laughs> it is a Susan Bates H uh, with some polymer clay on it. I got it at an Etsy shop forever ago. I can't even remember where I got it from. But the yarn that I'm using is, <laughs> this is Puzzle, uh, Premier Puzzle yarn. Um, this colorway is called Dominoes. It's like a pretty green ombre color. <laughs> I got two balls of that for my birthday from my husband. And I started... Da, da, da. This. Can you guys guess what it is? I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. <laughs> okay, this is a wearable. Let's see here. This will be the top and of the back. So it'll be. That's the armhole right there. <laughs> and this is a pattern, a free pattern, by. I forgot how to say her name. Kristen Armadol. Kristen Armadol. She makes all kinds of beautiful patterns. This is going to be a vest. It's called the Claire Tender vest i will link the the tutorial she has a video tutorial and she also has a written version on her website i will try to link both of those below but yeah i started this now this yarn says that it's a number five but i don't think that it's as fat as number five it's definitely a thin number five so i'm using it as a four this pattern calls for a number four worsted so i think it'll still work out because it's not super bulky it's not a big bulky five but uh, we'll see i guess if i have enough yarn but I've gotten this far. It's really easy repeat. Uh, this is the middle of the back. Uh, you know, to be on the middle of your back. You work this way to do one side. And it's like a drapey vest that hangs down. And then after you finish that side off, you will come back and attach to these starting ovals. And work that way to do the other side. This is the right side of the, uh, the vest. So it's really over here. So what it is, is uh, you do start increasing at this point. And it'll be kind of flowy and drapey, hopefully, <laughs> if I make it right. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't made many wearables. I've made I made a mandala vest, like in 2017. I think that's all. Other than, you know, like hats and scarves. But I've not made any sweaters or anything like that. So, other than baby size ones. But that doesn't count. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, this is what I'm working on today. I started it yesterday, but I am working on it today. <laughs> So leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you guys are working on today. Is anyone else working on wearables? Or are you working on M Groomies or squares or whatever? Just let me know in the comments what you are working on. I thought it'd be fun to just do that every Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, just see what everybody's working on. So yeah, let me know. Bye guys. 